Hello, everybody, and welcome to just basically a little short um, video. This is just an introductory clip to this little short video that I'm recording, that I'm doing right now. But anyways, so basically, here's the introduction. I did a couple of videos recently, pretty recently, about programming in ComputerCraft. And ComputerCraft is a mod for Minecraft, by the way. It's actually one of my favorite mods, probably. But, so I did a introduction, actually two parts, a two-part introduction into the, basically the basics, uh, basically the basics? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's a thing. So I did a in two-part introduction into basically the basics of how programming in the computer craft mod, which you can see a lot of um, behind me and beside me and whatever, all over the place here. But yeah, so I had an introduction into the basics of that, and I happened to miss uh, <laughs> like a pretty major thing in covering the basics, and that thing is called tables or arrays, depending on which... Uh, like when you're doing like programming when you're doing like actual programming or whatever the there's different names for it so in computer craft it's called tables in other programming languages it's called arrays sometimes but basically it's as far as i've heard it's the same thing so yeah so anyways so i missed that in the two part series covering the basics and so this video is basically as i was doing my let's play series on on the the game basically and then I ran into this and realized that I had forgotten to actually explain this in the the videos about computer craft programming so what I've done is basically I've taken this is uh basically a clip taken out of the let's play series like as I was going along and I realized that I had missed it, and so then I started explaining tables. And so this clip, this uh, video clip, is basically taken out of the Let's Play series. So, in case you're wondering if it seems a little strange or whatever, the way it was cut or whatever, then that would be why. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So hopefully you enjoy the video, and if uh, if you have any questions or if I like totally didn't explain anything very clearly at all or whatever, and... If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment, and I will see what I can do about answering and trying to clarify things or whatever. And, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the video. And so if you want to see those first two videos about the uh, programming, I'm going to be putting links in the description of this video. So if you want to see the first couple of videos of introductory stuff, then go ahead and watch, click on the links in the video description, and it'll take you right there. And, uh, well, actually, you know, personally, I think part two had a better explanation of what's going on than part one did, but anyways, that'll be up to you to decide if you want to check them out. So, anyways, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoy the video, and here it is. You know what? Actually, this brings up something I forgot to explain in the previous video about uh, about the computer craft programming and stuff. Is I forgot to explain tables and uh, arrays or tables is the same thing. It's just a different name for it. So this has to do with that, and I'm not really sure how to explain it, but basically. Oh, you know what? I can explain it this way because, let's see, if I save, exit, go back into the Lua prompt here. Okay, so, if I type turtle, turtle dot inspect, then you can see, let's do inspect down just because that's what we're working with. Okay, so you can see it says true and then it says name equals minecraft colon log metadata equals 10 basically that's all information inside this this um command this is all the information that you get from this command and the problem is that's 
that's a lot of different information and variables I'm pretty sure it can only store one type of information at a time. So basically like one one piece of information basically. So if like so this we get a true or false, we get what the name is, we get the the metadata and that's three different pieces of information and a variable can only store one. So you can make a variable and I don't know if it actually works in the Lua prompt like this or not, but we'll find out. So let's call it variable and then make it equal to, let's just say x just for the sake of simplicity. x equals and then if we do turtle, let's spell it correctly, get my fingers in the right order, turtle dot inspect down Okay, so x equals turtle.inspect down. So now if we type x, it will tell us true. Because the variable can only store one piece of information, so it just stores the, the true part and doesn't keep the rest of it. What we can actually do is set this up as a, a table which can store multiple pieces of information, basically. So there's different ways to do that, but basically the standard way is with a squiggly bracket like there and a squiggly bracket there. And if I did that right, if we type x, see it's suggesting we can put a dot in. If we just type x like that, then you see instead of just saying true, it says true and it has the name and it has the metadata included. If we do what it wanted to do with x dot, we can do x dot name. Nope, actually I did that wrong. <laughs> we, uh, why does it suggest a dot? because actually now I'm remembering the dot, I think it's, I've used it other places before. Hmm, well, you know what? This is another example of trial and error. And if uh, if you are happen to be someone who understands the program, you can maybe, and if you feel like explaining to me why it's suggesting a dot here, but it won't do anything with it, then that would be wonderful. But anyway, so, so that's one thing you can do. So now we type x and it, it says the whole thing. But another thing you can do instead of doing x like this is we can do, let's go back to, here we go. So we got our array or table in, um, in computer craft it's called tables. But anyway, so here if we remove these squiggly brackets again, you can see what we got here is we've got basically three different pieces of information and the the true is one and then we've got the name and the metadata and I think okay oh yeah so here we go so what we can do also is inspect down we can give it instead of one variable containing all the bits of information we can do like multiple variables basically so if we say is block that's one and then we put a comma and then we type another variable like let's say what block and so then here enter and so now if we type is block it says true and then if we type what block Here's where the dot comes in. So I don't know why it was suggesting a dot before, but anyways, now what block dot metadata or dot name. So basically we can do what block dot name and it'll say Minecraft colon log. If we do instead what block dot metadata, it will say 10. So that's where the dot comes in. So it's just a different way because let's go back to the uh, previous, let's type in the command again up here. So if you look at this, if you look very carefully, those squiggly brackets, it first it says true, then it has the squiggly brackets, and then it has information inside them. And so that's basically what we're doing with these variables, is we're doing the first variable gets the first bit of information, and then the second variable gets the bit of information that's inside the squiggly brackets, and 
So then the dot is which specific information we want inside those squiggly brackets. So that's basically, if that makes any sense, hopefully that does, but if that makes any sense, then good. <laughs> but anyways, so if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. But anyways, so, okay, let's get back into Lava Elevator. So with that explained, then we can make variables. So let's say... So hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about the thing called tables in ComputerCraft. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you want to learn anything more about all that stuff or whatever, anything more about programming in Minecraft, because I actually, I personally think it's quite a lot of fun, um, as you can tell with uh, all the experimenting that I've done in the background over here. But anyways... I personally think it's a lot of fun being able to program in, in Minecraft, in the ComputerCraft mod. And so if you want to learn more about how the programming works or anything, then as I said before, there will be links in the description to the two-part series of the sort of explanation introduction thing that I tried to do, which, by the way, was also actually, as you'll find out was also actually from the let's play series but anyways so yeah so if you want to find out if you want to learn more about it there's links in the description to those two videos and i'm thinking about actually putting all these videos as a playlist and so if i do that then there'll be a link in the description to the playlist uh possibly instead of the videos or possibly alongside them, I don't know, because the playlist will contain the videos anyways, so, <laughs> anyways, so, yeah, anyways, so, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you have any questions or whatever, and I will see what I can do about answering them, so, <laughs> see you later, bye-bye!